Hello, hello, hello one and all. How are you? Thank you all for being here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And we have Mr. Paul Cook from Malta with us. How you going, Paul? How's it going, big dog? How's it going? Good, 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 man. Thanks for messaging me and setting this up. Um, it's been a while since we've had a chat. So sure. this morning we all ended up on... um. Is it is it London Man? London he keeps changing his name. London Man, London, London McLovin. 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 London McLovin. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we end up there. You're in the chat. Martin and me did a bit of a bit of a um, piece on the show. Went live, so that was all good. So hello to everyone, and today we're gonna well get into some more of Malta and some more um, of Paul's finds in in the, the whole um, Starfort geopolymer sort of research that he's doing so i reckon we just get straight into it right we're, we're going to um basically show a video and then we will sort of comment on it and stuff and um at the end we'll have a bit of a chat to you guys in in the chat <laughs> is that what it's called gosh <laughs> <laughs> paul's only just waking up and i actually did it like did a meditation and i like, fell asleep so i literally wake up yeah same oh. half <laughs> <laughs> sorry mate that's my fault <laughs> So, so we, we're, we're firing on, on some cylinders. All right, let's get this up then. Um, and, yeah, I'll let you take it away. Excellent, mate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through some um, – so basically what I've been doing, I, I moved to Malta to, to go around and to like basically expose stuff that's been hidden. So I'm just going to give you a little backdrop in case the people that don't know. So I moved to Malta because I noticed that in, in Malta, stuff is being hidden like on a, on a macro scale. So they've got structures that are the size of cities, right? And one of them in particular is the one that's buried underneath the letter. And it is, uh, it's about one kilometre long one way, about half a kilometre the other way. And it's like one humongous structure. But, and, it, and it's at least from, from sea level, up to the uh to, to to the current ground floor it's at least six six levels but for some reason people are just ignoring that and saying that the ground level is like all the way at the top so i've been going around exposing these structures and showing people what what's really going on and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to be showing you a presentation of some basically i did this shot this one shot that flew through the center let me get this image up. It flew through the center of this star fault. Let me just so it's gonna present this. Oh, nice chair. So I was gonna get this image up. You're all right. Hello everyone in chat. Um, and sorry, we are a little bit early, so Hippie Shake's probably gonna turn up all flustered. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> she thought, it? Uh, so she's thought, but that's all right. So it's only 20 minutes early. Is it right to add that picture to the screen, Cam? It is, mate. There oh, we go. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> Here we go. Right. So this is the like this is just a little section of uh, of Malta, and you can see it's heavily fortified, or what we call star faults. And these are the areas that I am targeting. All right. And one thing I've noticed about this map that isn't on the map. There's no color coding and telling you what's what. It's saying that. After using this map for the last three years, I've worked out that all the places that are in red are apartments or, or blocks or houses to live in. Now, I know that, the, that these ones here are actually like blocks of like streets. Right? And I know that because I lived in this one here. So I know that. And I also know that um, I've scoured all of these parts here, all of it, literally around the whole of these, the whole of these two macro complexes. So this is one complex. All right, this pattern here, and this yep. is another one, right? And they both go five, six, seven stories high. And this is the ditch in between them. And I managed to fly my drone from one end all the way to the other end. It took 10 minutes because this is how big these places are, by the way. It took 10 minutes to fly my drone. And what I did here, I was showing people the uh, either side of, of the view is the macro structures and you can see apartments either side. I believe the shot that I did there is probably the biggest, most single important shot to do with Maltese history that's never ever been recorded before because no one looks at this stuff and no one's pointing this stuff out. If you go mm -hmm. to history and type it in Google, they're gonna take you to St. Paul's catacombs. They're gonna take you to uh, a tour underground in Valletta, you know, and it's all hush hush, don't look and rush through. 
So I, I, I took it upon myself to take this one shot and it, it was flying from here all the way through to here. And with that shot, you can see that these are megalithic or macro structures that have been literally covered and people are not saying nothing about it. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a video and it's going to start from this bridge here, this little bridge here, and I'm going to fly it around all the way here like that to this point here. And you're going to oh. it's going to be incredible, mate. But let me just get you let's do it where is she i've got to find her mate no worries okay hello everyone who we got cherry eyes mike andrew lvk albert seemerling adam forrest rice and peas bat roulette <laughs> pete wishmore straw legal man fiction fred johnson hippie shake all right yeah. sorry we're early hippie um i blame paul i think that you should too <laughs> only jackie um but you made it so that's great then tony hello tony i met you this morning yeah oh, tony, tony big dog tony's a big dog and big up oh, yeah, big, dog. big dog tony all right well uh, tony the tiger tony tiger oh yeah. yeah didn't that used to be like yeah cereal or something cereal. That yeah right? that's right yeah <laughs> right so i think this image is sharing now so you can see that like I said, we're in the middle now of the two structures. So this is one side of it, and this is the other side of it. So I'm just going to play this yep. video. Okay, so so literally each wall is yeah, this is a one star structure. wall, basically what yeah, we're calling yeah, yeah. staff uh, walls yeah. going up. So two separate structures. Yeah, at so least on, on the left point. is one, on the right is another one. And mm. I'm just going to fly down the middle and show you what is binding because I've been making videos of this section, but I've had to do it over like five videos because it's so big. You can't fill it all in one go. But I sat yeah, there and thought yeah. last week, if I fly the drone, drone right through it, I can scoop it all up in one go. So the video that's coming out tomorrow is actually going to be this shot plus a load of other stuff that I've been collecting. But I thought I'd share it on your, your channel first. Mate. Yeah, man. So, cheers. And, of course, if you're not subscribed to Paul, the link is in the description. Make sure you go. I and that, looks like Hippie Shakes just put up the link as well. So make sure you go check all that out, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, big up, mate. Big up. Right, let's, let's, let me show you this clip. I'll have to fast forward bits of it because I've got this on the drone. I haven't sh sh um, edited this footage. It's just straight up. So, look, uh, by the way, you can see these are services running down the wall, by the way. Yeah, yeah man. And these wow. go into the apartments. So, and you can see that it comes down here. And this is one of oh. the things that I'm exposing in multiple to prove that these are structures because they have places to store water. They have places to sleep. They have places to store food. Plus, they have services running around the walls. And I know the services because I've come from a plumbing background of 15 years. And I know how pipe mm. works are laid on the walls. And when I see it like that, it screams to me that it's, it's, it's for services. Yeah, that, that horizontal one, do you reckon that was for water going 100%, down? or 100%. Yeah. The water or waste. Waste would be water. Oh, well. yeah, waste. Yep, yep. Good point. But the, 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 and another thing I'll tell you about these as well, these have been subject to heavy damaging lately because when I was last in Malta three years ago, um, this place wasn't as damaged as it was now. Now, these are meant to be thousands of years old, right? But why in the last as far as years, they're there, yeah. they deteriorate more than yeah. anything else? So I'm just flying to the other end of the ditch now just so I can show you what's going on this end, and then I'm going to go through the whole thing. So this is one structure on one side, cool. and this is the that other side. Like... Yeah, that first one looks like it's been had some big thing covered up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So down here, down here, I couldn't go down there because there's like um, security, and it goes down to sea level. Um, so it drops like six levels from this point here. But and the other yeah, thing well, is, you've got the um, you've got the port on that side as well, which is the um, so I can't fly the drone there because every time I've done it, there's been interference on my on my controls, so I can't fly the drone near that area due to the port, obviously for security reasons. So this is as far as I can go, but just at the end of here is the sea level, and it drops down six six levels to sea level, so that's how high we are at the minute, and then you've got another four or five levels here. But... Wow, man! So. Do you reckon it goes below the sea level as well? 100%. 100%. And I'll tell you why in a minute. I'll show you a video after in a minute because I actually went inside part of this. That, again, you, Cam, you know we just said a minute ago, you said the two lines running around the building. This is another yeah. one here. And this is another one here. But yeah. they filled them in. So what they've done was to make Clearly it Clearly like been filled in. Mm. But um, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's some sort of flow and return or some sort of i don't know maybe it's for power i don't know but the, the marks are there mm. and again i just want to well i mean we know we know with the with the aqueducts they were like they all flowed, but the, the, their like angle of declination was tiny, wasn't it? So I mean, they could be flowing water through them just with exactly, a very, you know, exactly. And because it's such a long distance, it. you, you need minimal fall because it's going over a long time, you know. So it, it, it will, it yeah, yeah. Fall. Right. So I'm just going to. Um, oh, and by the way, the reason, look, watch out. Not so much for now because we get look, watch down the end around here because you'll see a, an abundant amount of apartments. Cool. I'll call them apartments, so big, right? but uh, they might not be. But apparently they were dug out for World War Two. But when I okay. went to the underground in Valletta, that the guy actually told me they dug out pre World War Two for World War Two, and I thought, well, <laughs> what? They knew yeah. it was coming. So, <laughs> so this is this is the shot now. And 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 by the way, this this here. I'll just pause this here. Again, you can see these services running down the wall and you can see where this bit links in. But this bridge here, Cam, this is a train bridge. Yeah. And the train would come out, the train was built, the train station was built in like 1890 or 1870. And the train comes from this star fault all the way to the other old capital of Emdina. Which wow. is, uh, yeah, yeah. So there was a train station, um, a, a, a train connection that connected the two star forts. And I sat there and thought, I wonder if this transport system was a lot older than what we're taught. And we're just using the old, yes. the old route, basically, you know? So you've got little... Yeah, well, Sorry, mate. Go on. Mm, yeah, I was just going to say, I'd agree. All the train tracks, because when you look into it, man, like they sort of invented trains and got them running, you know, our oh, 1850s. And then in the 1870s, they had like so many trains, they were literally smashing them into each other and driving them off bridges and blowing them up. And I know, like, I know. It's I, a I crazy watched, story. I watched a John Levy video once and it was, um, he was showing two trains, two very all note trains in the early 1900s, like on a show like, where people pay to go and watch it, like you go to a circus and they were smashing the trains into each other. And yeah. I was like, these trains are like probably the most ornate, best pieces of vehicles I've ever seen in my life. And like it can, mm. it can be replicated now, but people don't want to put their hands in their pocket to do that sort of stuff because it's all about money, isn't it? Like, for yeah. profit. Well, so they're not going to make that sort of stuff now. And I was like, wow. They used to make things to last forever, didn't they? Where yeah. now we're in the throwaway society, you know, like planned obsolescence because it's all about money, man. Yeah, it's, it. it's exactly it. Everyone's cutting corners trying to earn money. And this is why this structure in the background is lasting forever. This is man made, yep. in my opinion. This is made out of a, a, a geopolymer limestone, but that, yep. that, that's, that's for another another topic. I'll just show you the footage today. Cool, sounds good. So, these that you can see there's chase marks running up and down all of these walls. And by the way, this is um, this would have been rendered, you wouldn't have seen it like this. This would have been decorated, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, all the walls, you, they just look so motley, don't they? Like they've just been bogged up and stuff yeah. over a long time. So there's another little entrance up. It's, this is where the train would go through here, and it goes straight through to the other star fault. How is tall old. is that? Um, is that at the minute there, we we um, see this railing here. It's probably about 30 foot from here to this, this current ground level. Yeah, yeah, no, but the arch, like it didn't look big enough for a train to get through it. Oh, yeah, let me take that back. I missed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you know what I think it might be, Cam? I think this is uh, a, a modern bridge put on top Yeah, of I was just going to say, that's what it looks like. Yeah. They've raised, raised it. it. Yeah. Interesting, but interesting. Even like like you just mentioned there, going back to the, um, going back to this part here, though, you can actually see where you're going. I'll show you in a minute. Like this, oh, I don't know if I'm about to show you. Yeah, these arch bits down here, the, the bottom bits of them are, are very primitive. Like, and if this was built in the 1800s, why are they using like, uh, why does it look like it's done 500 years ago? That's what I was trying to say, but I, we've missed a shot mm. now. I might show you in a minute. So That's they're a, saying that, that the star fort was there and they've cut holes in it and put the train track in later, retrofitted yes, it sort of yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. 
Just the train, by the way. way. All, all the other tunnels and all the other stuff was apparently done by the Knights. But yeah, have, of course, yeah, the Knights. Mate, the, the, these these Freemasons, I tell you. Uh, yeah, man. Look, look, look this is another train bridge, Cam. This is a this is another bridge, so not a train bridge, but another bridge. You can see it was done in geopolymer first originally. Yeah. And then it's been smashed up and then built on top of to, to then remake the bridge moving up. Mm. And see, that's another interesting point. Like, if that wasn't built, and you see this everywhere, right? All these stone bridges. Mm -hmm. Like, if all they had was horse and cart and people on foot, it's a bit of over engineering, isn't it? Too much, mate. Far too much. Yeah. Like, what? And why would they you needed, it? Yeah, if that all they needed was wood. So, like, why would they go to all the effort of? So, yeah, you know, doesn't make sense. Look, this is this is this is the original arch. This is a massive arch. This one. Compared to what you just pointed out a second ago on the opposite side to this, this is tiny. This is a massive one. So this is the, uh, and, and again, this this service, by the way, something come down the wall here because it's been filled in with the bricks or blocks and then something ran along this wall and it went inside ah. here. It wouldn't surprise me if it was cables. Ah, okay, so this is why we see bricks and block work inside, you know, geopolymer, for want of a better word, walls because they've been filling stuff in. Yeah, and, and you'll you'll notice that abundant here as well. And by the way, I've just noticed these other ones down here that haven't been filled in. Can you see these little chase marks? Yep, yep. But they're not actually little, they're massive, because I actually took a photo of this yesterday, and the chase marks there, uh, they're probably about 100 mil each. Yeah, okay. I'm also looking at the wooden stairs. It's interesting, they build everything out of, out of rock, but they forget to put stairs to a doorway that's halfway up the wall, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah they, they, they're funny, mate. These, these cats are funny, I tell you. But you can see that service running around now, so it's like it went in, fed something, and then come back out. Ooh, yeah. Oh, am I here? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, here, mate. Cool. I hope my, my farm internet is good. I'm running off a floating electric car in space, apparently. <laughs> look at the arch it's been filled in yeah don't say brick don't say brick well, I, should, I should be showing these shouldn't I there you go donate to Paul Cook or buy him a coffee <laughs> for all the good work he's doing he needs to go and buy some drone fuel man yeah yeah <laughs> do you know what I need on that drone I need like uh, solar power or something because like in Malta it's so hot and bright like if I just yeah. fly it up in the air, we have a little solar power on the back. It will just charge itself up, and I'll be up there all day. Check this out. This is where it starts to get to apartments now. So you can see, like um, down here, there's been tactically planted bush. So here's one entrance, and there's a load more around here. We'll see <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there's an abundant along here now. This is where it starts to get residential. I call it. And uh, and by the way, it's actually a, a, a very impressive because like down here you've got no wind, you're protected from other other weathers apart from rain, and if there is like um, I don't know, people want to come and attack, like how are they going to come down? Do you know what I mean, you could easily pick them off from down here with something. But... Yeah, yeah, and and so these apartments they're basically yeah. not habited now. Like you're saying that they're they were the apartments from back in time when it was. Yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever we're calling these, I don't like calling them star forts either. It's like cymatic like energy points or something. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 definitely. I, I mean, the only reason the only reason I call them star forts is because that's how everyone. It's a unit. Yeah, a unit knows, like that. knows about it. Yeah, I started calling them stars, but um, but you know, there's lots of stars, yeah. right? People might yeah, think I'm just, talking about Brad Pitt there's apartments here as well going in here boom there's one two three you've got this big screen in a way but i'll just show you and so, you've got, like, you can see that you can actually go into the complex here there's a massive arch as well just behind that screen and so they're the same kind of thing that you've been showing us where you actually walk inside the the the, the little apartment things they're pretty much the same are they yeah well the apartments i've got um I'll, I'll show you some apartments on here after if you want. There's there's tons right. of them. There's basically, um, I think they said there's ten thousand that were cut out for 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 World War what? II. What? No way. Um, you know. And, and did they say where all the rock went? Yeah, uh, uh, exactly. And not only that, if you when you well when you I can show you when you go down there and look at these up close and personal, you can see that the inside of the um, 
as you go into the apartments is just as weathered as the external. So if these were cut 70 years ago, why is it weathered as much as the outside? Yeah, right. Good you know? point. Oh, and another thing is, look at these services. Like not, these holes here oh, wow. are where the pipe works would have come out or the cables would have come out. I believe it's for, for, for pipe work. And you can see where it would have come along. I've just filled it in, boom. And yeah. it's just deteriorated so much that you're only seeing the back end of the chase marks now. But still, this goes back about one foot. So it's going back about one foot in there. Wow. The black stuff. Wow. On the and wall. that's going along basically up to where all to where all the apartments are. Yeah. <coughs> so I actually yeah, black another part. The, 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 this this actual feature that we're looking at is symmetrical across the whole part. So this happens three times. This happens three times, this little setup that we're seeing. And one of them that I, oh, I went wow. in one about three years ago. And as I walked into here, but on the next part, on another section. It, it had like 20 apartments coming off of it going inside. But wow. Yeah, so well, these look like cities, basically. Yeah, that's exactly what like they are. Like one big city. Are. Again, you, mm. can see a, you can see a service mark running through and going into all these apartments down here. I'll just take that back 10 seconds. You'll see it. You can see all the apartments and then a service. So I guess it might have been a cable or a pipe. Yeah. This here is a well. <clears throat> this is a well here, by the way. Oh, yeah, and, and there, there's thousands of these places, these situated along here. So if this is not oh. apartments, why is there water supply with with uh, chase marks connected to every apartment from these wells? See that? And again, look at this. Look at look at this completely. Yeah, man. Oh, it's... Polymer. And it's just been put on top. It's very rough yeah. and ready up here. You're just wondering why, why they would cover it all up. I mean, cl clearly it's because they don't want us to know there was a big population there, right? Yeah. And it was not just only built that, by the Knights of Moulton. So, exactly. Exactly I mean, that, mate. Exactly. Forget about what was here before. The Knights have done everything. And not only that, I think there's the a Knights big cover of the geopolymer as well. I think like... Um, <clears throat> Well, it, once you've got your head around geopolymer, then, then you start to realise that a lot of the world has been fabricated. So I think that's why they've kept yeah. geopolymer out of our out of, out of the, the, the working man's consciousness. But you can mm. see it's done in sectional, sectional, rough sectional blocks. Yeah. And so that, in your opinion, is, is a later covering, what we're looking at. Yeah. I mean, they, this would have been covered up. This would have been rendered. And I've got yeah. um, some images of, I'll show you after, of the render on the wall. But there's only a little bit left because a lot of it's been picked off, obviously, because <laughs> they're trying to make this look as natural as possible. But if it's decorated with terrazzo and it's shaped like a, a, a frequency pattern, it's not really that natural, is it? So they've just, they've literally hit it hard, took all the, took all the decoration off the wall and just deteriorated it by spraying something over it to make it look like what it looks like now. Mm. And they also don't want um, to let us know that they have that level of tech, right? Because exactly. it is tech. Exactly mm. that. So, right. So you can see here, this is the well. And you can see that, boom, coming from the well, you've got chase marks that seem to be feeding all these apartments here. One, two, three, four, five apartments, six in, in, in this shot. Seven. There's another one there. And again, you've got a load of apartments this side, tactically placed bush, but you can see all the apartments here, going down here, along here, and along here. And they're all deep. filled in now, are they? Yeah, they're all filled in. They're all filled in. And if you speak to a Maltese person, they will tell you, without you even asking, and, and by the way, I'm not saying this in a horrible way, I'm just saying my, from my experience, <laughs> they will tell you that they were dug out in the war by yeah. their grandfather. That's what they'll say. Yep. Well, this is the thing, though. They love to do things like that because then people get emotionally attached to the story. Exactly, mate. Exactly. That's exactly it. Hang so, on to so it. Mm. What I've noticed is a lot of these apartments are absolutely pristine and a work of art, like the way the stonework's done. But there's some that are really rough and ready. And I believe the ones that are rough and ready are the ones that the, um, the civilians cut themselves so you can then say that the people that cut them ones will say, yeah, well, we cut them. And their grandchildren go, yeah, well, my granddad cut the, cut the, uh, cut the apartment, well, not the apartments, air raid shelters. <laughs> air raid shelters. Say that they're all done, but really there's probably like one or 2% that are done like that. And the rest were all done 
donkeys years ago. Yeah, right. right. That's a nice scam, isn't it? Yeah. They're onto it. Again, all these apartments down here and down here. Again, you wouldn't see none of this, by the way. Look at this. Look how close I am. I nearly hit the bleeding tree. <laughs> so what's that for a couple of stories, three stories or so, is it? from? I'd say that's probably four or five stories, four more, stories. Yeah. Yeah, those so cars were pretty high. small down there. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> and so that's all at the top there. That's all like facing kind of tiles, is it? That's gardens, can. So what they've done is yeah. this bit here, I need to get into this part here, basically. Oh, this wow, bit seems there, okay. to be um, absolutely left alone. It seems to have been original. No one's touched it. No one's even maintaining it. So I need to go and have a look at this part up here because I don't think I can get into I, I can't say too much, actually. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we being monitored. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't say it. But you can see where they've chopped it down. Yeah. Down here, you can see. And then they've built on top with the uh the blocks. The yeah, like facing bricks, yeah. Yeah. And that whole corner's been, yeah, redone, hasn't yeah, it? But I, well, Cam, it's the whole structure, mate. It's been leveled off and then and then like built on top of. Oh, and okay. This, yep. This and so everything that they've leveled off the top, they've turned into blocks and used to build to build exactly, stuff. Exactly, mate. Exactly that. That's and this right. is why I say that. I always say they've made the blocks out of the geopolymer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they smashed this up, not this part, but the bit that was above it. And mm. then the bit that got smashed up, they then reused the blocks and made and built up with that. Mm. So basically just using all these old structures as foundations, which we see kind of everywhere, right? They're always building on top of the old exactly, foundations. Mate. But look here, one, two, three, four, just five apartments on this little corner here. And you can see wow. not very well, but there's actually a service that's been filled in here. Yep, yep, I can see that. Yep, yep. Um, and some of your staffs, we're in Malta at the moment, uh, Matt. Yep. How's it going? Um, uh, do you know what the na what the names of these um, <laughs> stars are? I don't even know what to call them anymore. These yeah, buildings. Um, we, we just call them star faults because it's just universal. Everyone knows. It's easy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but um, th this 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 the cavity. Well, this is um, uh, this part of the star fault here is actually the city of Valletta. So the city oh, of Valletta wow. is. Uh, built is on top the, of this part here. So wow. I'm gonna take it back 10 seconds. Oh, so the whole city's up on there. Yeah, look, yeah. This is the city on top, right? Oh yeah, wow. yep. So when people go with like this guy here, if he went on a tour underground in Valletta, he'd end up in here. He'd probably okay. end up three, three stories out in here. You yep, know? Yep. you can see gotcha. the style of this place actually, because you can see that this side is about two to three sizes or uh, taller than this side. Mm. So yes, busy man. So this one is Valletta, and this is this is part of Valletta <laughs> still, but it's obviously uh, another completely different frequency pattern. Yeah, yeah. But it goes into Floriano, into another town. But this is the cavity in between, and it's called Il Il Fos, which means the ditch in Maltese. <laughs> the ditch, of course, it is. <clears throat> so would that have been a moat? You reckon? No, because there's so many apartments, the water would just oh, of course. Boom, go. Unless and another thing is, is, it's at an angle. You'll see that this this road's at an angle as well. So is that road the bottom level, like the ground level, or is there actually more forward underneath it? Right. So good, very good question, mate. Where I am standing and doing this drone footage here again. By the way, apartments, doors, windows, <laughs> doors, doors, doors. Um, yeah. Here. It goes down another six levels. Under that, there's more six levels. Okay. Yeah, and I, what I'll do is remember that because I've got a video showing um, at the very bottom, looking up at the whole lot. So I'll show you that after. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible, mate. And people, I am, I am gobsmacked that no one's pulled this up and said anything about it. How can I mean, people, look at it? Look, this is a thing. Yeah. How can people apartment. live in Malta and not walk around every day and go, "Oh my God!" But but this is the thing when you grow, when you grow up somewhere and it's it's normal you don't see it just like we didn't see the buildings you know for for years yeah. strange isn't it hidden it's in plain sight it's all to do with the programming I, I reckon mate it's all the programming mm. 
<clears throat> yeah. So they they, they they get they get um they get rectified at school. They get corrected at school at a very early age. So so moving forward from like four or five years old, they think their air ratio was. Yeah, yeah, and then and then yeah, and they're getting taught that it's their history, so they sort of take it on. You know, it's like it's like my oh, who was that guy? Yeah, yeah. Some little scallywag. Hey, look at us. Have a look at him. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. What's he doing? Oh, look at that running around in Malta. Jeez, unrestrained. I don't know. <laughs> Burn. I'm half Irish, man. I'm burning up. Um, yeah, yeah, you do look a little, a little pink. I look like a tomato, mate. <laughs> Jeez, man, don't come to Australia. <laughs> I, I was speaking to someone yesterday, and I, I was going, I was going, yeah, it's getting a bit hot now. It, 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 like I'm burning with my Irish skin, and um, they was like, yeah, it's 45 in Dubai at the minute, and I thought, flipping hell, it's only 28 here. <laughs> 20, yeah, see, 28, man. Like we're in the mid, we're in winter, and it's probably probably not twenty, probably twenty two, twenty three during wow. the day. That's our winter, and then summer it's like thirty five and above for like four or five months. <laughs> wow, man! But, but do you know what? I, like, I do actually like English weather. I'm not going to lie because <laughs> uh, I don't because know. You do it, man. There's, there's a there's a big contrast like it's, it's it's either very cold and raining or it's warm you know in malta oh, okay. it's, it's that but on steroids it's extreme it's either pouring down with rain freezing cold or it's extremely hot <laughs> but you have the option to go in and out of it so that's all right but look, look again you can see i can see about 15 apartments just along here and again i just want to point out this is used as a car park the whole of this ditch is a car park that's that's and crazy it's a car park for local people so people that work in Valletta, they come and park their car here and they get a bus to Valletta. Even though oh, they're in Valletta, it's just a massive structure. It will take them to the city centre. But you can see apartment, 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 all along there and all along <laughs> here as well. And, and, and I want to point out this fact. This is a fact that I'm going to say to you now. If you are, if an air raid siren goes off, right, Look, don't forget, I've been flying my drone here for the last five minutes, yeah, or seven minutes. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I, I, how are you going to get to this area in three minutes if the air race sh sirens go off? Yeah. To <laughs> jump off the there. wall. The only oh. way you're going to get there is, is jump off the top, but then you're going to be yeah. brown bread. That's that's a good point. Very good point. Like you're nowhere near anywhere. Like even if you're using these houses up here, how are you getting down mm. here? Like, you know. And, and yeah. let's be real, like, if, if that was the case, you just build an air raid shelter directly underneath your house so you'd access it through a, a, a hatch in your front room or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or they'd have, yeah, exactly, just staircases in the street kind of thing that you can but run what down. what they want us to believe is that the air raid siren went off, people run out of their houses, risked getting shot up by people in Spitfires, and then went, went and ran for 10 minutes and hid in an air raid shelter. Don't make yeah. no sense. Again, you can see a service running down the wall here at a straight up 45 degree angle, and it branches into this one here. I don't know if it yeah. branches into it or it passes it. I don't know. I'm not sure. But you can see that the faintly, and there's a service that runs down the wall here as well, but it's been blocked in. And again, these walls that you see here would have been uh, protruding out a bit more. It's because they've been deteriorated over a long period of time that the chase marks, you're actually looking at the very end of the chase marks here. Yep. <clears throat> What's this? When you say apartment, you mean they stuck out? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these would have been the chase marks would have been a lot deeper, but because the front of the building's uh, eroded, the chase marks get smaller. Yeah, and then this this doorway down here in the bottom that's a good apartment that's dug out inside the star. Well, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at well, this one. They, 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 look, they have some of our door frames. Look, yeah, look. yeah, man. Like what's going on here? You know, look at it. And they, they look like different heights. To, so, how tall are these doors? Like, how? how oh, okay. Like, that one's a big one. Like, do you find that? Yeah. Like, how big are these apartments? Um, you can walk in them. You can walk in them. Stand up. All right. So they're not oversized. Up. Yeah, they're they're so I'd say they're probably about six foot. Six okay. foot. Interesting. But what I will say is there is some that I've found that seem to be a lot older that are a heck of a lot smaller. And that stuff seems to be buried underneath this sort of stuff. So it seems to me that in certain parts of Malta, the older it gets, the, the smaller it gets. 
Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and and... Was... Sorry, mate, go on. No, no uh, I was just going to say, how, how old do they say this structure is? Well, this apparently is natural stone. And it doesn't say when this these patterns were excavated, but it says that this place was built by the knights. But when I oh. go to a statue um, down the road, um, yeah, down the road from here, it's got a guy called De Bill Henner. And it's, it's like a tribute to the guy. And it says underneath on the plaque, it says that this guy added to existing fortifications in the 1500s. So that just that on its own tells you that this was already here. Yeah. So yeah, he's just added this right here in, the, in, the, in the, like 500 years ago. You can see it's, here it's, where it got smashed up and then um, yeah. built on top of. So it's, it's clearly been damaged and then built on top. Yeah. But this this little section here, I'll show you in a second. Again, notice all the apartments along here. And, and there's going to be an abundant amount of apartments all along here and running down there. But this bit here. When I went to Malta three years ago, when I lived in Malta three years ago, or four or five years ago, whenever it was, this was this was accessible. You could actually walk in there, and there'd be like, like I said, twenty apartments coming off of it on the left and the right, going up into this structure. But then someone messaged me and said, "Paul, have you got anywhere I can go and check out?" And I sent them this location, and they sent me back an image, and the image was that entrance blocked up, and the cement underneath, in between the blocks, was still wet. It just been blocked up. Why? Yeah, nice. you'll see it in a sec. You'll see it. Right, you can't. Have it. must be nice, man. That that car parking, like, if oh, you no, box someone in like that in Australia, man, they'd be they'd be going you. Yeah, uh, mate, and in England, mate, it's beef. It's absolute beef if you do that. Yeah. You you. you but <laughs> listen, mate, <laughs> this, Malta, this this stuff goes down in Malta, mate. This is what Malta's like. Like I remember when I first moved to Malta, I was going to the shop to get some Rizzler at like, I don't know, like twelve at night, and there's a twenty four hour shop. And I'm going down some skinny road that you couldn't even do a three-point turn in, right? And all of a sudden, the geezer in front stops the car, gets out and starts pulling out uh, the van and starts pulling out a mattress and a bloody uh, sofa. And I'm like, mate, what are you, what are you doing, you know? So they don't, like, that sort of stuff don't matter in Malta, you know? Like, um, where, yeah, where in England, it's like, no, you ain't parking there, you ain't stopping here, blah, blah, there. All that stuff happens. Yeah, no, we call that kind of stuff pensioner driving in it down here. <laughs> but you can see that service. Remember we pointed that out earlier, Cam, that, that whole line running through the whole of the structure that's been filled in? That's yep. it there with the block work. Still there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Running through. You've also so, got another service that linked into this, or it might have run over it or underneath it. We're not sure. But all we know is with the chase marks are there. You can see the abundant amount of apartments down here but because it's sitting mm. in the shade it's hard to see it yeah so see, there's so many i wonder what kind of like services because you found um like iron right like wrought iron or cast iron in some of them yeah. have you found any pipe work oh, mate, I, can't believe you're saying this, mate. I can't believe you're saying this yeah I've, i'm saving this for another nugget oh so okay <laughs> you have to I'll wait guys so if, if you're not subscribed to paul you have to go and subscribe now or you'll miss out <laughs> yeah, big up there. Thank you very much, Cam. But I, I, I live in a place called Hamrum, and it's like the ghetto of Malta. The only reason I live here is because it's extremely cheap. Right? Well, it's not extremely cheap. It's extremely cheaper than anywhere else. It's not cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not cheap, trust me, for what it is. But anyway, the main road where I live is called um, whatever, anyway. So they've been doing some roadworks down there, and they've excavated a part of the road. <laughs> and I couldn't believe what they'd done. The, what they'd done was they have excavated part of the road and they started to expose all these cavities inside the stone. And I thought, wow, the only reason they could do it so close, like they've left about three inches between, um, I can't explain it properly. They've basically excavated, but where they've excavated, they've, they've knocked through to the next place. And you can see that the wall that they've left there is about three inches thick. So that they, they obviously had um, knowledge or plans that these cavities were where they're doing the, the chase marks. And another thing that I'll get to, because you mentioned the iron, when they did this yesterday, um, I noticed they were working extra late because they'd gone through to somewhere they weren't meant to go through to, and they exposed a load of iron pipework. 
And I thought, wow, like, this is extremely um, old. One, it was a size I don't identify. I didn't recognise the size of the pipework. And to me, like it's been imprinted in my mind, whether it's imperial or metric, I will recognise the size of the pipe because I've been plumbing for 15 years. Plus the shape of the yeah, fitting. Yeah. I was like, wow, this is new to me. I've not seen nothing like this. But I'm going to save them um, images for another video. Now, this part here yeah. is the part that I wanted to check out because <laughs> you can see it seems to have been left alone. Can you see that? All this up here. It's not maintained. Yep. You've got original block work yep. up here. Um, it seems like this might look, you've got a, a portable toilet there. So this could be like a maintenance department. But this this is what happens. They leave like little departments in these parts and so no one goes near it. And this is the parts that I need nice. to check out all around here. But again, oh, go back to the apartments. This this is security down here, by the way. This is security. The parking's just crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, mate, imagine, imagine. Oh no, sorry, that's the security. There's security. I think he's filming me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Back Ten seconds. Didn't that look like it's been cast and in, in, into like pushed in some sort well, of like, framing? Look at that. Look at all this. Look at all yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, right. Look at that, man. Mm. Which would be easy enough if they're just putting like render type stuff, like a covering. It'd be pretty, wouldn't you know? It'd be fairly easy to board it up, wouldn't it, with some scaffolding? Well, yeah, this is the thing. I mean, this yeah, is done. Yeah. This is done, obviously, to some sort of standard, but it has to be. Um, I think that the rendering will smooth out any impurities with the stone, so it, the rendering yeah. will give it the final finished look. But I call this like the first fix, and the rendering will be like the second fix. So the first fix could be like okay. rough and ready. But the second yep. fix will smooth out everything, like the rendering. And again, even look, look, this is like four stories up here. And look, you've got like a walk. This is a walkway in here, by the way. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You can see another door. So are they being used now the, where the windows no, are? No, it's not being used now. But I'll I can't I can't say too much, mate, because I know yeah, yeah, are yeah. watching this and they're just going to go and block stuff up. <laughs> I can't, I'd love to tell you so much more, but I can't. No worries. Look at the Save same. it all. This is what I'm saying these are macro complex. This is a complex. Yeah, it's, it's, for it's sure. Not, I mean, it's not one building. It's, look, and this is a bit I need to go and examine all of this lot. I know there's going to be stuff going on around here. It's it's almost like the, you know they're trying to introduce these you know 15 minute cities at the moment. This is almost like an old world version. That's you know instead of being against us and trapping us, everything is where you need it. But but it's all built on energy and and to make life better and easier rather than to trap us, yeah, right? exactly, mate. I think you just hit the nail on the head there, mate. This is like a 15-minute city. Like, everything you need, one stop. Everything's in one stop. Yeah. The yeah. one-stop shop. I agree. That's real good drone view. Yeah. I mean, look at it. Look at this. Like, you ain't going to see this, like, unless you had a drone, by the way. Look at that. Look at... Sorry, mm. sorry I'll get too excited. I get so excited. No, no, no. <laughs> now you can see the two structures. Look at the size of that ship in the background as well, by the way. So this is one oh, structure man. and this is another structure. So, Good yeah, morning. they're the two different stars, basically. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. And then you can see the cities have just been built on top. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm just wondering why there's so many in Malta. Is it just some kind of energy vortex point or something? That's because it's covered in them, right? Like it's almost one big, you know, mash of stars. I I, I believe uh, star faults are something to do with water. I believe it. A hundred percent. For sure. It. Yep, I totally so, agree with that. And, and, and Malta is bang in the middle of the Mediterranean. So whatever they're doing with the water, they're doing it in the middle of the Mediterranean. I believe. So I don't know if they're generating power or just using it because it's pure or, or, or I don't know. I don't know. But I believe it that Malta is a strategically placed man-made island bang in the middle of the med. That's my opinion. So do you think it's like, like, sorry, like a Tony's natural thing. island? Do you think it's an actually, actually an island or do you think it's man-made? I think it's man-made <clears throat> in my opinion. But I know it's because... probably going to put a lot of people off. But that's only my opinion. Mm. Oh, and it look it looks that way. Um, and analog Ben from analog um, 
or what's he called the archivist yeah um <clears throat> he was talking there, there's but there's a man-made island um i think it's up off the uk somewhere there's an island and, and he's got you know he's found it, that it was man-made so I'm, I'm just thinking like with you know if, if the water levels were lower right that, there's a man that, that would kind of make sense why it goes down un, under the water right yeah they built yeah, it when the levels were much lower and and it's sort of been inundated well, well do you know what you said that because now you've said that when i was watching you guys last night you're talking about the gates opening and when you're saying that i wanted to jump in and say stuff but you know it's very hard to because when you're in a group chat it's hard to have a conversation because the the, the, the flow's going you know and you can't keep up with it yeah. but i believe um i believe they control the, the height of the waters on this plane by opening and closing certain gates that's what i believe because like oh. I was saying this yesterday, how in the world, if the water that we've got here now at that level, how can yeah. you get more? Like does, does the water like produce more yeah. water? So it must have been stored somewhere else and then brought in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, th there's talk of the vapor canopy too. I'm not sure how much water that was supposed to hold, but but that's very interesting, right? Yeah, man. Gates like like locks, you know, like what they've exactly. got in Netherlands. Exactly, like, mate. Like and that's why. Yeah a lot of places do have like london like it's got like seven gates in it yeah yeah well i think the Suez canal has has 11 just in that canal <laughs> there you go mate here yeah, look you can see scattered blocks here do you know what and i'm not i know for a fact just from just from like um doing this sort of research now for, for years i know that along here is gonna be apartments what i call apartments that's why there's bush here that's why it's been left alone. Look at it. Look at look at this block work. It's just left there like that. It's not even block. It's like they've made the, the slant with the blocks. But yeah. people, people would sunbathe here and wouldn't even know what's going in here. Look at that. Mad. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I think Tony's hit the nail on the head. New salt power stations. Because Yeah, I was... I was mm. That's Tony's what I was thinking when you said Mediterranean. Were they filtering out the salt out of the, out of the seawater and doing something with that because not only that we have all the salt pans all around the whole of the island now oh. Tony was pointing out to me a couple of weeks or a couple of, about a month ago that the um the salts could be generating or storing the power in in the salt pans okay uh, well i mean yeah salt's yeah right salt's crystal crystal so i mean yeah they, they can store energy and stuff in crystal so do we have salt battery? I don't know. I'm not that good with electrics and stuff, but there are salt batteries, aren't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's not mm. my fault, Tate, but I, I, I've only learned what I need to learn. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to, man. If it, it's just too much, otherwise, yeah. you, you, you got to like try and stay focused, man. That was a wicked shot. To... You, you can see the scale of the size of this place, and then I pan up, and you can see the city built on top of it. Boom. Wow. And Literally. by the way, I just want to point out another fact for you. These here, this, see this block? Do you remember I showed you the map at the beginning of this video? Yeah, yeah, with the red, yeah. These are the red blocks. Okay. All right, and I'll tell you another fact about these places. These have been rebuilt. I don't know about these ones, but, but, the, but some of them, right, they go down in geopolymer. And I know that because I lived in one block, right? And when I went down in the basement, as soon as you start going down the, the, the ground floor into the basement, it turns into geopolymer. So you're going down geopolymer stairs into like the geopolymer basement. So it tells you that the houses or the structures here were built or made or cast out of the same stone that's and sitting on top of these frequency patterns. But they come along, chopped them down, mashed them up, and then they built up with these blocks on top. And they said it was built in the 1500s. Hmm. <clears throat> so they're, they're basically what we call Tartarian or Old World Bio. I mean, th this is the yeah. thing, like the Star Forts look like they're a much older, con well, to me, they look like they're a much older construction and the yeah. whole all the Tartarian stuff has come a lot later and that's what I was, you know, why it's on top, right? Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, this reminds me of something out of Syria, like Iraq, Lebanon, uh, about, like Baalbek, you know, like somewhere that in the middle that's absolutely getting like Afghan yep. or somewhere like that. That's what this reminds me of. Look at this. Look at the Serp. Right. Can I just point one thing out to you guys? 
this, if this is stone, natural yeah, man. or man-made, it doesn't matter. That's, that's, you make your own mind up. But this is for a service, right? This is for a pipe or a cable to come through. See this little hole here where, where it's going? Now, you can only drill in a straight line, right? So where and yes. how have you rooted that pipe or cable? Because unless it's going in a straight line to the very end of this other cup, the other end of this uh, star fault, like how else have you rooted that pipe work or cable? If this That's is a yeah, you know it's a good point. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I talk about the lamps, you know, like especially the ones that you see on the bridges, and yeah. they start off and they're supposed to be gas, and then they turn electric. But it's like, well, where where'd you run the pipes? What you know? What, what? Exactly, mate. Exactly. <clears throat> it's yeah, yeah. So that would be yes, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. basically, that's saying that it's it's a second hand building, really, is what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, that's uh, a little uh, bit. And we're getting taught it's, it's natural. But it's again, like, like they're said, literally it's saying natural. that's natural, natural yeah, rock form. But again, so, so I, I noticed this before I moved to Malta before, and then I come back. And when I come back this time, I started actually noticing uh, techniques used to, to make this stuff. And look at that. You can see this is cast. It's, it's unbelievable in yeah. sections. Look at it. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I'll say about this, Cam, is like now I, I've, I've, um, I've, I've found iron sheeting inside all of these joints. Jeez, and I've got wow. so much of it. And that, that tells you, if this is natural, why is there sheets of iron inside the stone? Um, and yeah, one yeah, other yeah, thing exactly. I will add to that is, before I found all the iron sheets in Malta, I was in England and I found a, a geopolymer structure made out of sandstone, because this is limestone. And in there, there was a sheet of iron holding up the next level, acting like a lintel. Wow. Yeah, so I'm telling you, um, this is this, this all man-made. This stuff, and we're getting duped. And, and uh, uh, well, clearly, it's man-made because it's a star, right? Like we've we've got examples of these kind of things all across the realm. So why would this just these ones be nat, you know natural or dug out of natural rock or whatever? When clearly, you know, we've got them everywhere, and they're, and they're made on top of the ground. But have you found that? Uh, just a random thought. Like I was, if there's metal in there. Is that could that be some kind of macro wiring as well? Maybe it could be. If it, I'm not, not, I'm not saying it's not, and I'm not saying it is. And it's like, I don't mm. know. All I know is that I've found it there. So, <clears throat> yeah, in my right. mind, I, I, I believe it's uh, where they've cast it in sections. So they had to use. I, the, uh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so they've used. And then, the then they've just left the sheets in and kept going. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, a good yes. point. Yeah, because obviously, when you start casting with stone, it gets very heavy, heavy and, and like the pressures going downwards it is pretty big so aren't you that makes sense yeah wow yeah 100 i'll show you some images in a sec <laughs> zao wants okay, to know again. if you're on the toilet <laughs> Am I he's on not the toilet? He... <laughs> i don't know he's talking about your background i think i don't know be nicer <laughs> cheers mate made me made me laugh sorry no no that's all right no, mate i'm not offended Nothing can offend me no more, mate. <laughs> Nothing can Good. offend me. I've been through the works in YouTube. Right. Trust me. Yeah, man. <laughs> I got dragged. It felt like I got dragged down the back of a blinking horse and cart and just dragged along the floor for months. So, yeah, man. Yeah, me, mate. None of that bothers me. And I know he was being nice anyway. I know he weren't being horrible. Yeah, no, I he wasn't. He was just trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah. Trying to be. <laughs> right, the letter. I'm just going to show you that, like I said, um, I've got that. Uh, oh, part yes, that nukes button. are a hoax, Nasir. Yeah. Sorry. Nuclear bombs do not exist. <clears throat> Don't even know if nuclear power exists. I mean, you know, Chernobyl, Fukushima, no one died. <clears throat> I've also done another discovery, but I can't say nothing yet. I've got so much stuff. It's unbelievable. Where is she? Where is she? Come on, Bill. Right, so anyway. Can't believe where it's gone. Right, let me try this one. Here it is. Right, yeah, this is it. So I'm just going to share this screen. Yep. Uh, this, the car, yeah, we can see that. Yeah, I'm just going to. Same one, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Batmobile, as I call her. Right. Oh, is that your Batmobile? Is it? <laughs> I, we, we, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. This, this. I tell you what. This car got me around to so many nugs in England, mate. I tell you, 
I only got it because yeah. it was convertible. Yeah. I paid like a thousand pounds for it. It was like really cheap. Cheap yeah, and cheap. Right. So I, the, I, I was really showing the, the granite throwing it on the wall. This is not what the video is so about. We're back in England now. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh yes, you're Jeff Palmer. Oh, I'll show you it now. Yeah, the, but the reason this is not the video, but this is uh, this was just made out of um, water glass and shells. Uh, the reason I've screen recorded this video is because even though I made this like a year ago now, I, I've started to find this similar to this inside all the, the chase marks. So it seems to me like they put a dab of this in there and then push the pipe in it to hold it in. So it acts like a glue. So I've noticed that. So this is the granite and this is the uh, the calcium oh, one I made. Yeah. So, yeah. But this is, I didn't actually mean to show you that. That was by accident. I was looking for something else. Uh, the metal, let's go here. Right. So, like I said, the iron sheeting. Oh. Is that, is that presenting? Yeah, here we All go. Right. So, like I say, it's I done. I think we're just section. breaking up a bit. It's probably my internet. Um, sorry, hang on. Oh, something's sorry, guys. One minute. Bom, 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 bom. Easy tigers, big up peoples. Just want to say, yeah, uh, why Cam's not here and he's still insane out. If you haven't subscribed, please give us a subscription and give us a little like. And even share it if you want, because I know that these are serious nugs that no one else is doing. Nice. No one else in motor is going out saying this sort of stuff. So if you could give us a like, I'd appreciate that. And a subscribe. Yes, and like this video too. But yes, Paul's link is below in the description. Go check it out. Right. So like like I'm saying, Cam, can you see the iron there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's not the bit we're in question. So... I, now, I'm just gonna, like, so there, there's iron here on the wall, right? Yeah. Now, why is that here? I know it's there because it's been cast. And when I turn the camera to the side, you can see, boom, that, that that's the section, yeah? Yeah. You've got some iron in the wall here. I'll show you anyway. That's So this is like just bits that have been left over. And you can see that it's just been cast in sections. So this whole section was cast. Yeah, like, I saw like, your you know? down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that so that's that. not the best that I've got. So does that mean that that, new, that that front bit is new, like, in your opinion? Is that like... Yeah, well, I, I, I believe they added bit by bit in sections. Okay. So, so, so there's probably even better stuff behind. Like, clearly they're trying to hide something, right? Oh, what's happened here? Like, this is a very good example of it here. Right. Uh, how do I share that? There we go. Share screen. This one here. Boom, boom, boom. Now, this is a really good example of it because you can see oh, wow. that the uh, stone, of the well, before it set or cured into the limestone, you can see that it's been pushed in. Like, yeah, let me just play the video and you can see yourself. Mm. So you can see that the iron's going back. And again, I want to tell you this fact. This is the front of the wall. And the walls go back at a 45 degree angle so the blocks don't go back straight they go back like that okay yeah yep yep <clears throat> cool gotcha okay and i believe that is a smart move because it's like a structurally sound i believe yeah so yeah they'd all sort of yeah be tied into each other pretty much yeah like uh, kind of alex, stuff. alex pletcher what i will say is my brother this is not melted because i'll show you what melted limestone looks after it vitrifies it almost turns like a glassy looking sort of stuff. Same with granite and sandstone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that yellow bit there looks like it's been, yeah, retrofitted. And then it looks like it's now degrading as well a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it like <clears throat> this, Cam, this is a bit of render on the wall here, by the way. This is that a is. Light, oh, wow. bit of render. So the render covers the whole of this. So you wouldn't even see the sectional block work. You wouldn't see the iron. You wouldn't oh, see, so, you okay, wouldn't see so. the services in the wall. You wouldn't see nothing. You'd just see the render. So it's cracking off. Basically, they've tried to hide it, but it's all starting to crack off. Yeah. Look, which, again, proves that, 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 that they don't even have the tech today to build anything like the structure they're trying to, you know, cover up. Yeah, exactly. And I believe that's why they're covering it up, because they, they, they can't replicate it now. And if they did, mm. like, there's so many questions that come with this. So many questions. Mm. 
look, this is the iron, and you can see, look at it, straight. It's going behind the wall. That's wow, man. Again, wow, that's bizarre. So do you think that's a similar process to what they they use in you know like south america with the polygonal walls uh no nah. what i've learned not, not not saying you're wrong by the way i'm just saying like what i add to that is um i said it the other day yesterday on dr longo when you know how to build a house you won't build every house that same way depending on the environment and the materials and what's going on like there'll be different ways of building stuff all yeah, i can say yeah. is that this area here that i'm examining has been done like this I know it hasn't yeah, been yeah. done like that in England. What, what I know it's been done in England is they built wooden framing and then poured the mixture over it. It's like it come out of a machine, squirted over like boxes and frames and stuff like that. Because when you go inside yeah. the structures and inside the, 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 the properties, you can see the wooden framing imprints on the walls. Oh. So it tells you that they've made boxes and then poured the mixture over it. And, and, and when, they make, <laughs> when they make the tunnels or the, or, or the corridors, they've made tubes from one to the other. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's that's a geez, that's a pretty interesting way to construct stuff. But yeah, wow. Well, I've got I've got, I've got all the evidence. You build a mold and just pour stuff over the top of it, and when it sets, you go in and take the mold out, and you've got yeah, wow. Well, I'll, okay. I'll show you the evidence. I've collected all that evidence in England. So, like I said, that's a completely different technique to what we're looking at now. Yep, yep, yep. And it makes sense too. And there's different materials, you know. So I mean, they're yeah, yeah, using yeah. iron. They've obviously got access to iron and all this kind Look of stuff. So, yeah, that's a complete sliver all on its own. Mm. And it's in between that. Look, that's crazy. Yeah, flipping right. Let me just show you. Oh, <laughs> let me just show you my. Um, where is she? Because I've got it in a file here, and it's in England. It's all of the. Where is she? Kent? No. Uh, but I've got so much stuff in England as well. Like um, intros, metal, nugs. Um, yeah, it looks like most old buildings have rebar. We've got pictures of rebar through lots of stuff. Even the um, when you look into obelisks and stuff that have been broken and um, even the columns, right? The columns, ha half of them are like hollow and they've got like wires and stuff going down the middle of them yeah that's crazy to, right what right, how right. i'm just trying to find this certain video the letter is it in there no you know you just got so much stuff patreon oh, my video 98 of you watching thanks all for being here we appreciate you spending some time with us right this Please is a round is this Sorry. is this sharing? Uh, I can't see no, anything sorry. yet. My fault, mate. Sorry, Cam. Yeah. So this is in England, by the way. I'm just going to go to England with the geopolymer in England, right? Yep. Because we're talking about iron. Okay. I just want to. I want to finish uh, the iron topic and then just go on to the next one. I just wanted to show you this because it's very important. It was. It was the fans want. All right. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, this is in um, up north, right? And this is a structure. This is geopolymer, and this is concrete, by the way. So why the hell would someone pour a load of concrete over this structure? I don't know. I need to cover it up and hide it, I guess. Now, as you walk around the structure, people, like you're going to see. Now, you can see this is sectional block work, all done in sections. This part here was actually inside a built uh, uh there was an external building which was probably done in wood because you've got keyholes here and you've got render yeah. on the wall so it tells yeah. me that there was like <laughs> some sort of structure that went here but can you notice yeah. anything funky look at the size of the render now check the iron plate out oh wow yeah yeah again iron plate okay oh my how thick is that? That's one inch thick. Wow, that's a good plate. Wow. Yeah, and the reason that's so <laughs> thick is because of the weight above it. Yeah. Acting like a lintel. Look at the size of it. Look at it. <clears throat> uh, and I don't want to blow my own trumpet. I really don't. But this is why people like you, you should subscribe to this because you're not going to. I'll give up my life to look for this stuff and I'm producing these sort of results. I mean, look at it. 
Look at mm. the iron. Look at the look, look at the iron running through that. And there's another layer of it there. I've just noticed there's another layer of iron running there. Why, man? Crazy stuff, right? Crazy, man. That's insane. Someone said um, the megaliths of Karnak in France, part of the site's been demolished to be able to do it yourself. Shot. What the hell? <laughs> Karnak? Uh, yeah. man, what the hell? Isn't that like a national site or something? That's crazy. Yeah. I heard that um I think it's in Italy, somewhere yeah. in Europe, they're saying that the old, old world buildings are, are way too expensive and you know they're going to make the, the world explode from carbon. So they want to knock them all over. And how's this? They want to knock them all over and replace them. Uh, Imagine the, the amount of energy they're going to use building new buildings. I, well, I, I heard a new law got passed a few weeks back, Cam, in England. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but it did ring did ring with me and apparently you're not allowed to go in any tunnels no more unless you've got a permit yeah wow well, yeah well I, I wouldn't yeah it wouldn't surprise me right yeah oh, they're, they're blowing up aboriginal stuff here they just knocked over the gimpy pyramid um late last year they're still going man they're still just going trying to destroy it all which kind of shows you that it is much closer than they tell us if they're still going through trying to destroy it all you know if it was a thousand years ago it'll all be gone right yeah so this is back in England. I just wanted to ask, looking at some, I worked out like a blueprint on how to find this stuff, basically. It's not like a blueprint. It's like a load of factors that have to be put into play. And then you can, when you put them in, when you put, when you put these factors into play, you, then you can then like work out where these places are. Now, the main, the main things about all this is it has to be sandstone or limestone. First mm. thing. All right. Once you know that, you can check and go to the next thing. The next thing is, is there a water supply close? Sometimes there is, but don't forget we're, we're talking about ancient old megalithic structures. So the water could have been disconnected or rerouted or it could run underneath it. So these yeah. are the things you have to find out. And then once you've noticed these things, you should then go and look on the LIDAR because the LIDAR will start showing impurities or um, irregular shapes that shouldn't really yeah. be there, right? This is how I, I find I've, this stuff, by the way. And I've then, tried to find a LIDAR in Australia and I can't find one. Uh, mate, I can't find one in Malta. I can't find you one can't, in Malta. No, no. no it's, it's hard to get hold of it. People keep no. asking me, can you give me the LIDAR for here? I say, listen, I only know three sites that do LIDAR and they're all for England. I don't know anywhere yeah. else. You can buy them. We'll have to do like a, I don't know, GoFundMe. I think, I think they're 10 grand. You can buy one that goes on a drone. Well, I'd love to, mate. If I had 10 grand, I'd need. I'd probably have to buy stuff related to my life first that had helped me out <laughs> yeah pay the rent first but yeah yeah you know but but i would love to i'd love hopefully one day i'll get rich you know yeah well rich. i mean yeah and you know just just so everyone knows we're actually not youtube millionaires a lot of people seem to think we are but mate, um uh, mate, I'm, I'm really <laughs> on the bread line, mate trust me yeah man it's, it's it's for the love of the info man it's not not getting rich that's for sure and this oh, is the thing right we could make videos that were just complete gobbledygook crap and we'd, we probably would make a million dollars from youtube mm, yeah no, i know that's the thing like the the wrong information gets pushed on youtube yeah but we know how this world works we know why it's all done so but yeah, but this is anyway going back, back to england i just wanted to show you like i was saying about the bald marks when i was telling you about when that when i believe they put box framing in and then poured the mixture over the boxes so here this is one one here uh, sorry about the lighting wasn't very good but you can see here it's like wooden framing and look at this wow man yeah angle city yeah i mean like it's like they left a box here and put the mixture over the box you know and this is yeah, a different yeah. part of the structure so how how would these lines get here and if, if this if this was cut right let, let's get this straight let's get this straight like these lines if this was cut why would you cut all these lines into it yeah it's why would you cut yeah. all these lines into it that's you know? the thing right? it would either be completely right. like hewn like it was dug out with a pick or it'd be perfect because if they had the tech to do that it would just be be like going in and yeah cutting a face but i mean that's that's a great pick like with the angles coming up i know, like 40, I know, I know. it's like, incredible what is and that again like, like when you want these like these bits here you just leave a box in there wouldn't you that's what you do it's, it's like really sick. yeah I mean, I noticed, look this got this was like some sort of storage because you've got like uh 
like a frame would have gone there you can tell mm. now this is interesting because i've noticed this in free right in, in free rock complexes i've noticed this feature all right now i'm a plumber i come from a plumbing background when i see this it screams to me I, i'm not saying it is but it screams to me like a heating system like a manifold for a heating system like you've got your primaries coming in here the flow and return and look at this and i will stress unless this this has to be precise you know like why are you going to make more work by cutting stuff bigger and and, and on the other hand mm. it has to be it has to fit so you're not going to cut it smaller or imprint it but these whatever went here terminates at this height and whatever went here terminated at this height you can see this is why these are higher yes. I mean, in, in, in plumbing it's called staggered so they'd have been staggered and they'd have terminated wall mounted so something comes in here flow and then returns back out right and you can see here this side like i don't know i don't know what's going on but from yeah, a perspective that's what it looks like so you'd have two draw of points here or two separate staggered outlets here and then two outlets down here like i don't know what it's for it could it, do you know what this could even be a kitchen this part mate do you know and I, I yeah found, yeah Look, let me just and it's again stone. there's no there's, look, look and another thing see these little white lines see these little white lines yeah yeah this is what happens when you scratch that stone right oh, so I can. Do, none of this is being cut because it'd just be full of scratch marks wouldn't it yeah so this is all these are all imprints and it's all been cast look look at that look at that like look at that that's so this is where it's at so this part here so you've got like again you've got a box here you've got a box here and a box here this has got a keyhole in it for some reason don't know why uh there's actually another hole there but you can't see it that well and there's a hole here but you can't see it that well because it's got the, the white stuff in it this white stuff's paint this paint has okay. been added at a later date so whatever went here weren't being used no more and it's been taken out and they painted over it because the paint wouldn't still be there from however old i believe this is yeah but i mean that could literally like, be an old kitchen right exactly exactly you have so, a stove in one of those and a fridge in another one you got your water exactly coming in exactly yeah. that so this could have been like a water drawer off point you know like i don't know i don't know but it's very funky yeah well it looks like they, they might do you reckon they, they were running the water through pipes or just running it through the rock I believe pipes. It has to be in pipes. pipes within those. Okay, like in chased out bits. Yeah. Uh, again, Cam, listen. It's only my opinion, mate. I could be a million miles away. I could be completely wrong. Like it's just mm. my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And yes, of course, Tony Castle cast cast yeah, for yeah. L. Yes, exactly. And not only that, oh. like I was saying on Longo's chat yes, yesterday uh, uh, or the day before, limestone in geology. I know this is sandstone, but limestone in yeah. geology. It's called it's car, spelt with a K. Yeah. So come on, guys. Now, yep. again, I want to point out um, this is a room in, in the apartment. Um, again, you've got a specific square cut out with two holes going backwards. And again, a specific square cut out with two holes going backwards. Now, are they for stability when you push uh, an appliance in there? Or is it services? Is there yeah. some sort of power in the wall? Like yeah. after these walls, were they storing electricity? Where you know, could you yeah, power yeah. if you plugged it into the wall? That's what I'm getting at. I know it's a bit yeah, far yeah. fetched, but well, you know. well, I mean, you know, another name for these forts is a battery, right? Exactly, mate. Exactly. So, like, and again, this is the this stone here is iron oxide, and and it's full of uh, crystals yeah. as well. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly, right. So well, that that's basically what what they have in red bricks to make them red, and we know that um red bricks can be used as batteries. Exactly. So, nice. Yeah, I'm going on way. So yeah, that was that one. Oh, uh, and this is the stone up close, by the way. Look at it. Nice. Hang on, I've just got to go hit the power. My my computer's about to die. <laughs> no eyes. I'll take over, mate. If that's all right. You all right, mate? So yeah, this is the stone. This is the stone up close and it's an absolute impeccable oh, mix right. so it, in this mix i've made this stone before i made not not oh, this yeah. exact what we're looking at this is not mine but i made similar so inside yeah. this is iron oxide sand and some sort of binder 
The binder I and use is sodium silicate, which is water glass. And that, is that a pipe? Uh, that's why I took a photo of it. I don't know what it is. It could be a pipe or it could be something. But it's metallic, right? It's metal, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's popping out of the wall. Wow. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and the, it looks very old too, right? That's another thing. Like, for, it looks pretty aged. It takes a lot, lot longer for metal to age than rock, doesn't it? I don't know. Right, yeah. Now, look does at this it? can. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Rust, look at this. This is a plank mate. of wood. A print of a plank of wood. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going the other way. So I believe, I believe right. maybe this wooden framing was about to fail. Maybe the weight of it was like a bit dodgy. So they've come in and slapped another bit of wood in because it's going over all of these joints in one hit. Can you see it? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. In place going over this whole joint. So maybe this was like giving way here and they've put this board over it just at the last minute to stop it failing. But it's clearly a board mark, a print. And it's printed into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another thing I'll point out, I'm taking this shot completely flat. Like I'm, I'm, I'm completely, completely like that. I'm not turning the camera. Yeah, yeah. Flat, right. So these, the, this is going down at an angle. So this is almost like a 45, but not. It's more like a 40, 38 degree angle. But you've got the wood. This is a beam, and again, you can see like the wood has stopped here. The beam, the beams have stopped here. You know, they built a wooden framing. This is what it is. They built wood framing, and they cast this over it. That's why the wooden framing has stopped on the ceiling because it's just one sheet there. And again, what I will point out is it's the swirls. You can see when you get to the top, it's a swirl like it's come out of a machine. When I climbed to the top of one of these, Campbell, at the very top of it, lo and behold, was was like squirt marks where it's just been squirted out to a tip like an ice cream, mate. I made a video on it. And the next day after wow. I made the video, I got attacked. That's why I took the video down, mate. Really? Wow. Um yeah, that's interesting. Um, you know, there's videos up on YouTube showing three how they make three D printed houses, mm -hmm. and that's it, right? They got this big arm which is literally squirting the the exactly, the nicks mate. out. Mm. And, and these these are like probably the oldest structures about because like they, like I don't know why, but they just they just are the oldest structures about. So mm. the reason I believe. I had to shut up about that. It's like they're controlling me. Do you know that? It's like they control me. It's like if I say something that's not allowed to be said, I get attacked and I think, right, I won't go there again. I won't say that. That's what it's like. So I, 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 went, I went down that road of being 3D printed and boom. I, I, boom. <laughs> so wow. What I will say is you can see all the calcium leaching out from these joint marks. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lime leaching. Look. So that's like calcium carbonate is it like yeah look at it pretty much yeah phenomenal when it mate Paul it's crazy it. jeez yeah. man you've been out there doing the work that's that's oh, awesome no no and do you know what's upsetting mate is when you've got other channels sitting there saying that i'm a liar i'm this i'm not but when you know and like, i'm actually out here doing all this like i've i've, I've I've given up my life to do this. And then you've got people sitting there saying that I'm a liar. I don't do this. I'm this. I'm like, man, come on, get out of it. Move along now. Yeah. You yeah, can, yeah, yeah. No. When you can see who's not, the work does the talking. And that's, that's the same yeah. with everything you do in plumbing. The work does the talking. Yep, yep. And I mean, the thing is, yeah, like, karma's, catch, karma's going fast these days. I was saying yeah. it this morning on the, on the, on the London McLovin. Um, you know, so put out good stuff, right? Like people, you know, there's Mr. Smith complex. People are sort of turning, freaking out, right? But it always, as long as you keep your cool and you keep your intention good, then, you know, you keep cruising, right? And they sort of seem to implode. So yeah, I'm yeah, just staying in my lane. I'm, I'm, I'm only working with the real people, mate. I'm not working with these parasites no more. Oh. And I think everyone's exposed yeah. themselves. Everyone, Everyone's exposed oh. themselves now. Everyone knows who's who. That's that's the okay. thing. I just sit back and watch, and then exactly everyone lets you know who they are. Exactly. Sorry about that. Someone in their V8 oh, cruising mate, I up the hill. Going to be an assassin or something, mate. Someone Jesus. Falling line. He's literally like two k away, man. That's a loud car. Holy wow. dolly. There's my brothers. Hello from Newcastle. Bloody, bloody yeah. boons out here. Yeah. I, I Res, mean, ah, rescue. 
Yes. We're, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll call it a day if that's all right with you. And what I'll do is, mate, if you Yeah, man, to, I was just, yeah, perfect timing. Yeah. If you want to do this. If I want to do you again, again, well, man. I will, uh, oh, I'll go again. out and get some exclusive footage just to show on here. Do you know what I'll do? Oh, I might go into an apartment. I'll, I'll, I'll get some exclusive footage of an apartment. I know where there's still yeah, one's man. got a sink in it, one's still got a sink in it, still got some furniture on the wall, like as in decorations and stuff. So I'll go and do that. Nice. And I'm having a chat with Matt. Oh, gosh, when is it two days, Matt? I think it is. Um, and Matt's just built his, um, rebuilt this car, man. You should see it. So you've got to bring pictures, man. He's... That's it, it, oh my gosh, yeah. So everyone, watch out for that. Like he's built his own drum kit out of wood. Like it's wow. Yes. It, he's yeah, man. It's like you watch, look at his stuff, and it's and he did he bit like he rebuilt the car, did the like then did all the artwork, did all the everything on it, man. So yes, tomorrow. Oh, there you go, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'll be there, Matt. I will be there. Thanks. Big up, mate, for doing that. Big up. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, that, I, I, that's coming up soon. Yeah. That is impressive, man. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. Yeah, man. We'll show it. Like, like every time I see my face, I'm just like, what the hell? Look at me. I'm just so untalented sitting here and all these people are creating these amazing things. God, what am I, what am I doing with my life, man? Uh, <laughs> mate, we're doing, we're doing the right thing, mate. We're doing the right 10 thing. 10 a.m. All right. Awesome. But yeah, listen, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was in the chat as well. It's, I'm sorry I haven't been uh, active with you guys in the chat. It's because I was solely focusing on the Indeed. And doing oh, all that gosh, stuff. come on, internet. Don't disconnect me right at the end. Let me right. back in. Okay, Let we'll, me back we'll, in. We'll, we'll call it a day then. We'll Let me back in. Now. Guys. Oh, my God. I love you all. Thank you. Come on. Here, guys. I'm almost at the Please. end. Subscribe I'm almost at the can. end. Let me back in. Oh, no, you've Hello. Right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's gone. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap up for you. I'll wrap up. I'll wrap it up later, bro. Yeah, so guys, uh, first of all, Cam, thanks for having me on the show, brother. I appreciate you. Real recognize real. And we'll hopefully do this again next week. To the guys in the group chat, thanks for all being here. I love you. Thank you very much for the love yeah. and the support. Oh, there you go. Cam, I was doing your job for you, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I got cut off right at the end. Thank you. What a professional. Right, yeah. Yeah. Thanks all for being here, guys. We will be back. Um, Paul, link to Paul's channel in the description, so go check it out. Give us a like. Stuff. Oh, my God. Am I back? This is yeah, horrendous. Yeah. Come Mate, on, wrap it let up me back. Quick. Wrap it up quick. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm oh my gonna God. Leave. I'm gonna leave. You might That's have to finish, Paul. I've been, I've been I destroyed. You. And I love everyone in the chat. Have a lovely day, oh, guys. Come and I'm going to leave now, Cam. All right? I'm going to leave now. ta -da. Is the internet dead? Come on. All right, I'm back. Can you see me? Obviously, Paul's gone. He um, um, closed the show. If you can see me, I'm um, sorry. Obviously, I got cut off. So thank you all for being here. Um, I will be back for a chat soon. Um, stay awesome and, um, yeah, talk to you all soon. Bye for now.